Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and I'm very excited to start my many Let's Plays for Total War Warhammer 2. I've got a bit of a plan with how things are going to move forward with this, so bear with me as I introduce the concept. Over the next week or so, I'm actually out of the country, so I'm pre-recording an episode or two of each faction, one lord each, but when I get back, you will have full control over which campaign moves forward. I will compare the number of likes between the latest campaign videos across factions every weekend, maybe more often, and the one with the highest likes is the one I'll do the next episode of. And this is something I'm going to continue through to the completion of each campaign, so it's more important now than before to hit like if you want to see a campaign continue. Again, I'm going to compare the number of likes on the latest videos, so if Skaven Episode 5 has fewer likes than High Elf Episode 1, you're getting a High Elf Episode 2. And then if High Elf Episode 2 also has more likes than Skaven Episode 5, you're getting a High Elf Episode 3. As always, I want to give you guys the content you want to see, and this system helps me do just that. Now, with that introduction out of the way, let's dive into it. No, Tyrion, this isn't your day. I'm going with Lord Skrulk and Clan Pestilence. I've been waiting to play Skaven ever since we first got, uh, well, ever since Total War Warhammer was happening. So I'm glad we're finally here. And I'm not going with Queek because I have a plan for Queek. When the Mega Campaign comes out, I imagine that we're going to get Karak 8 Peaks. And I want to play as Queek and I want to make a beeline for Karak 8 Peaks. Sort of one of those like roleplay campaigns, if you will. So Queek will have to wait. Skrulk, though, Clan Pestilence. Let's get it started. So construction costs negative 50% for Pox, Cauldron, Pestilent Knave, and Plague Bailey Buildings. Right costs negative 75% for the Pestilent Scheme. Lord effects, upkeep, negative 50% for Plague Monks, Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, Plague Claw Catapult, and Plague Priest Units. I get it. We're all about the plague. And then Skaven Corruption plus 3 in the local province, which is not good. Corruption. Skaven Corruption is actually a double-edged sword. Then we've got Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, Plague Claw Catapult, and Plague Monks. A little bit of anti-infantry, some armor piercing, and some artillery. Are uh, nice and early, which is good. Race attributes. I think we're pretty familiar with this by now. We've got Skaven Underworld. Settlements or ruins, food, maintain supplies, use them for various things, and then Skaven Corruption, detriment to local public order, but allows me to spawn additional units of clan rats. So there you have it, double-edged sword. But uh, with all that said, let's just make sure minimal auto resolve. Yeah, auto save to clan. Right, yeah, I want to keep battle difficulty legendary, uh, but campaign difficulty hard, just because when you get past very hard, the AI starts to cheat, and it's just not fun for me anymore. I, I don't. I don't enjoy that. So we're going to go with hard, and if it's too easy, we'll crank it up to very hard. But let's uh, let's get it started. I'm going to go quiet, and uh, we can enjoy the opening introduction together. Deep under the world, they chitter and plan. Watching. Waiting. When they emerge, it is a nightmare vision. The Skaven, a ravenous horde of verminous ratmen. They gnaw at the roots of the world like an infected wound. They mean to rule over ruins, for such is the will of their god, the great horned rat. Only the island home of the High Elves has remained unscathed. And at its center is the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphons chaos from the world. The Skaven covered its vast power with envious, beady red eyes. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake has disturbed the winds of magic. In the secret halls of the Under Empire, the Council of Thirteen has gathered. A time to scheme of opportunity. I kill dwarf things in Pillar City. No, no! Clan Moors go to Southlands. Hunt for Wolfstone. Moors are puppet minion. Pestilence infest Lustria. Yes, yes. 
but all Warpstone for Council Plan. Come, scribe slave. Work to do. Comet makes elf things weak. Council wants power of the vortex. <laughs> Just as prophecy demands. <laughs> so it too. You read markings on the black pillar. Then you know we must seek find the screaming one. Find out how to control the vortex. Oh, oh yes, master. But, but a large tribute of warp stone will that demon require if if we summon him. Return to your assigned clan. Harvest warp stone. Yes, most precipitous of masters. And flay yourself, your impertinence. Oh, it will be done, your worship. Flay yourself for your impertinence. I love that line so much. The Grey Seer Volskreek, with the Council's backing, has demanded that Lord Skrulk take Lustria for Clan Pestilence once more. As well as bringing the jungle continent under the sway of the Skaven, Skrulk must harvest Warpstone to power the rituals that will give him control of the Elf Thing's faltering vortex. Cease your chittering, adherents of decay, for Skrulk speaks. <laughs> By will, will of counsel, we set poor in Lustria to visit ruin upon the reptile things. Yes, yes. Twin-tailed comet brings great opportunity for, for pestilence. <laughs> great vortex of Althuan vulnerable. Much power to be had. Mm. Warpstone holds key. Much warpstone found in reptile thin cities. Kill Sotex creatures and find steel of their treasures. Skrulk will bind Vortex to his will and spread sickness across the world. All will succumb to the plague monks. Alright. Sounds good, Lord Skrulk. How they play Clan Pestilence. We've already read this stuff, slash are aware of it. Uh, yep, not visible to other races. Heroes may be sent to check out ruins, food, scaven corruption. Good stuff. Mission issued. Sneak, scratch it. Seize temple. Capture and occupy a settlement belonging to the following faction, the Southern Sentinels. Okay. A thousand... Bubos? Bubos? Upon you, Pestilent Lord. It seems the reptile things are basking in jungle temples that should belong to Clan Pestilence. While we make ready the first ritual, I humbly suggest you attack. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Good old buddy. Uh, so Subatoon. But over here, we have, uh, ruins. The treasure hunting can wait. Maybe we get, uh, we do that first mission first. So we're right down here. I think I want to capture this area first and then just push north. Sounds like a pretty basic plan to start things off with. Let's go with that. Uh, so, let's see. We've got uh, a decent sized army. What are we up against? Okay, that's not a problem. So I don't think I have to recruit anything to actually take care of that. In which case, we'll move forward right away and we'll build some stuff. Oh, uh, okay. So this is just the barracks. I might want to move that. Once we take Subatun, I will destroy this and put it over in that minor settlement because there's no point keeping it here. But until then, let's see, what do we want here? Okay, well, that'll have to wait. <laughs> These will have to wait. Ooh. I want to get there as soon as possible, though. Um, and assassin. Oh, that reminds me. How do I... Okay, so the Assassin's Hideout is how we get Assassins. And I want to get an Assassin ASAP. They're really fun. I, I like them a lot. They're great on the battlefield, and obviously I like using them as agents as well, as we know. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And then resource... Exotic animal resource, okay. Something to think about. And a corrupted spawning pool. That's interesting. 300 income, 5 food, growth plus 13. Those, that's every resource, so yes. We're gonna go with that. And then we'll re we'll replace this with something else. We'll see what makes sense. But, Lord Skrulk, push forward. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that's our first turn in Total War, Warhammer 2. Oh man. Alright, let's hit fast forward, make sure that uh, 
we don't spend time seeing animations we don't need to see. All right, so we take Subatun. That'll be that uh, that mission done, and we'll move south and capture that little. Oh, what? Was did I miss something, or did I? Is it because I skipped fast forward? Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oops. Well, damn it! <laughs> I wanted to scout. Oh, these guys are hurt. Uh, well, scroll's already here, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this instead. Uh, let's dive into it. Yeah, they. Okay, I was worried their garrison may have increased randomly. Uh, I don't think I need more of the menace below. We should be fine. It's a relatively small army. Balance is way in my favor, so. Uh, Fight my, my brothers. Yeah, <laughs> to the uh, to the battlefield. Fight Nash. I just can't help but listen to him talk. All right, let's do this. Fight my, my. All right, as always. Cutting out those loading screens for your viewing convenience. We're gonna gamble this. Seven is not good enough. Come on. Nice. Yes, I'm sure Ronald is looking over my Skaven horde. Start deployment, and oh my god. Oh my god, this map. Oh, so beautiful. This game is so beautiful. I have to say, I think it's a lot nicer than the first game. And not because of like the art specifically, but because of the setting. Like, there's some really beautiful stuff to look at. All right, enough. Ooh. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, okay, 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 enough of that. Let's get down to business to defeat the skinks. All right, pop these guys back here. Uh, Skrulk up front. We've got a catapult, so, you know, they're going to be charging us, almost certainly. And let's get the Plague Monk Sensor Bearer off to the side over here, and we'll just pull a little flanking maneuver. Or let's put him here, and we'll tuck him out and around, get a rear charge, finish things off nice and easy, hopefully. Uh, let's group these guys as well. And, uh, yeah, let's kick it off. No point wasting time. Open shots. All right, well gonna do a little bit more of this than I used to especially early on in the campaign because smaller army smaller battles I'll have the chance to do it without losing oh beauty excellent perfect placement Play playing this game without uh, blood and gore though has been strange after so much of blood and gore in the uh, first game I can't wait for the DLC to be unlocked again if you own it already you will get it with game two without having to buy it again all right shots and let's uh, go around that way push these guys up push these guys up push these guys up that way oh yeah look at these oh booty I love how they jump into battle so nice okay all right, all right let's get one of these over here I also love that these guys come out of this little burrow oh come on there we go Firing away. Oh, these guys are these guys are done. I'm done. Let's get this going. Scare these guys off. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> I killed more clan rats there than anything else. Wow, that was fast. All right, hold your fire. No need. No need. No need. We're good. We're good. Oh yeah. Look at them scurry. Look at them run. This is my forest now. All right. Decisive victory, I should hope. That was quick. That was, what was that? That was like a minute. That was like two minutes. Oh, I lost 20 rats. Damn it. Plague monks, I'm guessing, all of them. That's really powerful, though. The Plague Claw Catapult got 83 kills. It has the decontaminated. Um, it inflicts decontaminated onto the enemy, though, so it breaks their morale. Look at that. Like, they barely took hurt. They just routed. Decisive victory. victory 20 good Plague Monks lost. Eight food gain. That's good. Also, the Horned Rat does what? Sorry, I did not hear chitters. <laughs> alright, alright, enough of that. Rank gained. Um, you know what? I think... Yeah, let's do it. Loot, find trinkets for tribute. So I'm gonna loot and occupy at level 3 because I'm a risk taker. And go big or go... Oh no! Yes, <laughs> more Okay, I didn't realize that would happen. Okay, that's fine. We'll bounce back. We'll bounce back. I should have realized this because I think I did the same thing in the pre-release uh, event, but that's fine. 
Follower gained. Engineering student. <laughs> not that color shade. No, no. Scrape, scratch the grime away. Hey, that's not engineering. That's design. Uh, armor plus five for warp fire thrower, poison wind globadiers, and death globe bombardier units. Okay, excellent. Mission successful. You bet. You have any doubts? Mission issued. Jungle fever. Okay. Ma <laughs> Maintain control of one province, either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Okay. Mighty and pestilent Lord Skrulk, Gracier Volskrieg entreats that your clan pestilence forces move to take the whole of this province. Let all the things know that clan pestilence stalks upon Lustria again. I gotta practice this to Skaven speak. Does not come naturally to me, unfortunately. Um, it's not like the French accent of Bretonia. All right, Skrulk. I want to start on the blue line, I think, just because the extra... Well, first of all, Lightning Strike is amazing, and I want to get there as quickly as possible. But also, the extra movement range is very helpful. Uh, hmm. And then what are these? Loathsome Appearance. Oh, these are all right, lacked, lacked, locked to rank. So that'll wait, obviously, it has to. We'll start with this, move a little bit further, a little bit faster, and then we'll look into our magic, because Plague is a great spell. Arcane Conduit all the way at the end, eh? Yikes. All right, so let's start with that. Good enough. And we cannot move, so let's recruit. Okay, what is in here? Sort of spears. I'm wondering if I should expect large units already. I don't... Maybe not. Um, just in case, let's get some spears. And a regular unit of clan rats. I need to get uh, access to Plague Monks as quickly as possible, and Sensor Bears as well. These are dwarfs down here. For the wisdom of Valea. Definitely dwarfs. Um, and for that, you know, conquest of the so southern tip, I need to uh, make sure I have some armor piercing available to me. But let's discuss our conquest of Subatun. All right. Food and growth, not bad. All right, so first things first, I want to get a clan pit over here, and I want to demolish this one. We don't need it over there. Next up, uh, we could get some walls. We are right next to the gu guacamole crater. Guacamole, really? <laughs> um, no, we don't want to build this here. Okay, this is a minor settlement. Uh, might need some walls because it is close to a direction I'm not heading in anytime soon. What is this again? Poison wind globe deers, warp fire thrower. Okay. That could be helpful. Maybe we go with that. Uh, public order and corruption. It's a level three. Yeah, okay, let's get that and let's get some walls as well. Just in case. Just in case. All right, excellent. Wow. Already spent all my money. That's fine. This, is, this has been an expensive turn. And uh, let's move on. All right, so I don't want to fast forward. I want to set speed to fastest for, not for Kalidor, for everybody. For ev everybody. And me, too. Okay, there we go. So now I should actually be able to see what people do, just not slowly. All right, that was easy. And the next up is the Sentinel of Time, which is no longer a ruin. Mission issued, Diabolical Designs, ooh, from the Gracier Volskrieg. Ensure that one of the following buildings have been constructed, Assassin's Hideout or Overseer's Lookout. Well, I want the Assassin's Hideout as quickly as possible anyway, so that works. Such idle whiskers. Get to work, fool. Secrets to be found, new knowledge, new innovations to be discovered that you must only share with Mimi. Build this thing so research can begin. All right. See, I'm working on it. It'll get better, I promise. I shouldn't promise that. All right, uh, what's the best way to get here? Wow, that's fast. <laughs> A little faster than expected. All right, Subatun, we can upgrade the clan barracks. And over here, let's get some income flowing because we're running out of money soon. Income 80. 80 plus 60% from all buildings. 70, 80, 90, 100. Plans within plans. That's an episode of... Uh... Oh, I forget the name of that show. Pimp My Ride. 
All right. All right, money. It makes the world go round. Uh, how much does this... Okay. All right. All right. Maybe we do uh, the slave wheels. Or maybe we do this. It's income and growth, which is a good idea because I do need to rank this thing up as quickly as possible as well. So that works for me. We're a little low on cash, but that's fine. And we've already hit 21 minutes. So initially I was thinking of doing these as 20 minutes, but... Uh, then I thought better of it. We're going to go with 30 minutes. Let me know what you guys think about that 30 minute uh, length. If it's too short for you, I think it's more convenient for viewing. I, don't, I can't remember if I already did this little ramble, but I think 30 minutes, 20 to 30 is a bit more convenient to watch. You sit down, you, you have breakfast and you're watching. I know some of you guys do that, which is hilarious. I love those little stories, but uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think of the length and I'll adjust accordingly. Uh, for now though, I guess I have to end the turn. Yeah, so we can move on. Let's make sure this army hasn't grown a lot bigger. They do have a garrison now, which is a little unfortunate, but that's fine. We'll deal, we'll deal. End turn. Moving on. But yeah, so 30 minute mark is my plan. Obviously we can trickle over a little bit here and there. Is he leaving? Do you not see me? Oh, I guess he doesn't see me actually. Oh my god. It's, they just left it wide open. All right, first off, Oikshol. Oikshol? Akshol? Akshol is my guess. What is this nest nursery? More money, more growth. No, just more growth. For a thousand? Not terrible. Like nothing else I can spend it on, might as well. Alright, Skrulk. Get ready to take another city. The Sentinel of Time. Okay, let's... Ooh. Ah, okay, they've got two armies. A garrison, of course. Alright, well, the Sentinel of Time should be an easy enough battle, but... Let's play it. Kill Slay. Our first fight province Nash. conquered. Let's do it. Yeah, let's kill Slay. Let's fight battle. Die, die, battle die, fight. Die. Whatever. All right, let's gamble that up. 12 is not good enough. And look at that. Just another beautiful map. All right, cool. Let's uh, start deployment. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And they've done something with the lighting in this game. It just looks a lot better. The shadows are a lot softer and nicer. I, don't, I just... Again, I, I'll do a few more, like, panning shots and stuff in this campaign. Let me know if you guys don't like that and you don't want that. Because, again, I'll cut it out. But, uh, especially in the opening sort of battles and stuff, the first few where I'm not as preoccupied with, uh, you know, huge armies and whatnot. Let's actually pull back all the way back here. And let's get our clan rats in here. Seriously not hide? Okay, there we go. So we're going to pull back even further. Ah, it's such a small army. I'm wasting time. Let's just do what we did last time. Such tactics. Not necessary. Okay. Done, 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 and done. Push you. Actually, let's get you guys. Let's get you guys over here. Get these guys to do like a little bit of an envelopment off to this side. Both of you. Because I don't think they have any large units. Can't remember now, but I don't think so. We'll get you over here. Again, a little bit of a flanking maneuver. Actually, let's keep them hidden so they don't draw aggro at the beginning. And, uh, yeah, that. That. And we're good. Let's do this. Let's ruin these guys' day. Oh, I love the music, too. Give me a good hit. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god. You guys might want to hurry up. There's a lot more where that came from. Alright. In comes some shots. And let's open fire. Charge and charge. Yeah, all oh, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, I love this game. Alright. Get you guys around. Let's get you around. And you guys definitely didn't draw aggro. You know what? Let's pop one of these. Just to break them. And let's get this breath spell going in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, that was 
instant route. <laughs> oh, lovely. All right, all right, all right, all right. No need to keep fighting, guys. Hold your fire, hold your fire. Decisive victory, I should think so. Oh my god, that was amazing. I only lost five rats. Okay, I might... If it keeps going like this, I might regret that I didn't play this on Legendary. I don't know if they made this easier than the previous game. Or, I mean, I am against some, like, tiny garrisons starting battles. I hope it picks, picks up. I hope it gets a little bit harder. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nice. Got a decent bit of food there. And you know what? I... What? I don't have enough food. Oh, that sucks. All right, we'll do it at level two. That's too bad. Province secured, the Lost Valley. Yes, you bet. Mission successful, some more money, some more warp stone. And mission issued. Issue a commandment across one province. Right. I subjugate myself. Please, please befoul my fur with your stench, my lord. Huh. You have done great things. Clan Pestilence controls the province, and now you must utter a commandment that all must obey. Sure. For some reason in my head that sounded a bit like Peter Baelish from um, uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Alright, Pestilent Breath next, just to help us out there, I think. Oh, I do want Ambush. I do enjoy a good Ambush, and Skaven are like made to Ambush, I feel like. Let's go Pestilent Breath first, that has been very helpful so far. We'll move down. Plague is a great spell too, so... It's so strange starting a new campaign. There's so little to do. It's, it's really weird. All right, commandment. Uh, more food, less money, more corruption. Okay, less cost to recruit, more local recruitment. Uh, expansionist planning. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. And this is public order plus two. Okay, public order right now is actually terrible. Oh, I should have thought about that. We'll be fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> we'll be okay. All right. We can level this up right away. 3,000, though. Let's actually build something down here instead. Let's get a let's get a bit of a garrison going, and we'll also get uh, rattling warrens. More growth, I guess. We've already got uh, the weapon borrow coming. We've already got a barracks level two coming. So maybe we get some more growth. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's get some more growth. We'll take care of this quickly enough. How many more? Oh. Oh, okay. So it's the Southern Sentinels, and then there's Chupayotl. I gotta. I need to practice this kind of... I need to learn this language. Kayash and Schlansek. Like little islands down here or something? That's weird. Where are they? We'll find out, I guess. All right, Um, but I guess this is where I'm calling the first session. We've conquered our first province, the Lost Valley. It belongs to Clan Pestilence. Lord Skrulk has won two battles with great ease and uh we're at the 30 minute mark roughly so this is where i'm going to call the session again guys just a little reminder uh, a couple of these are coming pre-recorded because i am again out of the country right now when you're hearing this but uh wait why does it say commandment available i thought i thought i assigned one oh i didn't here i am doing my outro uh let's get growth right back to my outro so yeah again uh as i was saying Make sure that if you want a campaign to continue, you, you, you click that like button. Click smash that like button, as it were, uh, just so I know that you're interested in more Skrulk, and I'll keep it coming, uh, you know, compared to other campaigns. Just let me know. It's the best way to let me know. And drop a comment down below as well. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you're having fun with your own Skrulk campaigns, if they've started already, depending on when this releases. And, of course, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, cheers.